everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I have a little video I'm going to put in. I'll put it in right here. Jim just told me that there's bluebirds in the bluebird box, and look how beautiful the lawn looks. He just mowed the lawn and he chopped down, he said, a pear tree that was supposed to be a fruit tree, but it ended up being just a flowering pear, ornamental, ornamental tree. It wasn't very pretty. Well, it was pretty when it bloomed, but then it died. As you can see the tree on the ground, you'll have to bring your wood chipper out and chip, chip, chip. Yeah. And my chickens will get some chippers. Yay! Which house is it in? The same one as last year? Probably, yeah. That one over there? Yep, the lower house. This one? Yep, the bottom house. Oh, is that the one they were in last year? That's the one that they're in. Oh, I'll have to knock on the door. Remember, always knock because they will fly out if they're in there. Nobody's in there. Pull the peg. Hope the bird doesn't dive bomb me. We'll open the door. And there's the eggs. There's one, two, three, four, five eggs. Wow. We'll have to watch and see how long these take to hatch beautiful the bluebird people will be very happy we always get bluebirds which is great I was asked where did I keep that asparagus hidden I didn't hide it actually it's right here and look there's more coming up there's one right there next to the one I picked and there's another one coming up they keep coming up so you keep looking the bluebirds have come back I was watching Vicki Marie, and she was, the, I think it's called Vicki Marie Living Life, and she was waiting for the hummingbirds. I haven't seen any hummingbirds yet either, Vicki, but I should put out my food. I do have the food made. I was accidentally making, I, well, I was an accident in a way. I forgot to put the tea bags into the sugar water one time because I was really supposed to be making kombucha. And I didn't, I forgot to put the tea bags in, so I decided, well, I'll just save it for the hummingbirds. And then the season came to an end, so I've kept it in the refrigerator. So there's sugar water in the refrigerator. So now it's time to pull it out and put it in the hummingbird feeder. And hopefully I see some hummingbirds. But there's five little bluebird eggs you noticed in that nest. I wonder if the mother bluebird's going to lay one more egg. Last year, I think she had six. I think so, yeah. I think she did. And I think what they do is they lay a bunch of different... They lay an egg probably a day, I would think. And then when they have as many as they want, then they start sitting on the nest. So she hasn't started sitting. I just put another egg egg under little lady. She now has five eggs. Every time I bring in an egg, I go, mm, this one I would make a nice egg to hatch. Maybe I should mark it and put it under her. And Jim goes, if you want to. So now she's up to five little eggs. She did have a buff egg under there, and I don't know what happened to that buff egg. The, I think it broke or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could be. I didn't even see the shell. But there was yolk on a couple of the eggs, so I had to wipe the yolk off because I don't want them pecking at that egg because if they see the yolk and smell the yolk, they may peck at it. So I wiped the yolk off those two eggs. And the buff egg is gone. It's too bad because I was really hoping to hatch out a buff. But maybe that buff egg wasn't fertilized. I don't know whether it was or not. I don't know if any of these are because... They're going to be hard to candle. They're blue eggs. I put blue and brown. There's no white eggs under there. I don't want any white eggs because the white eggs would be the... The... Leghorn. Well, it would be a leghorn. Leghorns lay a lot more eggs. But the ones that lay the white eggs are more of a bantam-sized bird. They're a small bird. I wanted a more of a dual-purpose bird, even though I don't eat my birds. I like them to be nice and hefty. <laughs> hefty, hefty, hefty like the garbage bag mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh well well I hope you all had a great day and I the weather here is getting better it's cold it's chilly out but it's not bad it's colder than what it was let's put it that way and this morning when I put the eggs outside to sell 
there was no breeze at all. And now there's a nice heavy breeze. The breeze has come. It's it's windy. But I didn't, and I didn't sell any eggs today. But yesterday somebody left egg cartons on my porch and it wasn't my neighbor. I called her to find out cuz she usually leaves eggs egg cartons for me. And this one was on the front porch and not in the side porch where she usually would leave them. So it wasn't my neighbor. It was somebody else. So I've got somebody else leaving me eggs, which is egg cartons, cartons. I mean, not yeah. the eggs. Cartons. My chickens give me the eggs. So I got some more cartons. And I thank that person, whoever it was. I would thank you if I knew who you were, but I don't know who you are. So maybe you watch my video. I doubt it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Never know. So thank you. If you if you dropped off egg cartons at my house, I thank you very much. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Alrighty? Bye-bye. Yes.